are good because it's show dirt time, friend. Oh, yes! You know what's interesting is I, li I, I live by my electronics. I live, you know, I, and, and, and the electronics really the last few years have gone like from awesome to absolutely incredible. But something that I've noticed a lot of really, really, really good fishermen do, um, and it, it's, it's a little bit quiet, some of you already do it, okay, is I, I'm a nut bag, a chronic nut bag, I'm looking at satellite imagery, all right? In fact, to the point where my social life is I sit on a couch and I look at Google Earth. Well, there, there was a couple shows a few years ago that actually during the day, listen gang, this is not a sales pitch, okay? I don't even, I barely know what an app is because I had to have my kids download this, but there is a Humminbird Fish Smart app, okay? And what it is, it's perfect satellite imagery, all right? And I remember uh, I went to uh, way, uh, it's called Saskatoon Bay. It's way on the north side of Lake Michigan. I had never fished there in my entire life. And I remember sitting at dinner the night before, I'm like, wow, this place is a monster. It's a, as big a water as I've ever seen. And I pulled out this app and I was looking at the satellite imagery and I just started looking for isolated grass beds, right? I had not been there in my entire life. I would drop a waypoint on it, bing, bing, there you go, add waypoint, see? and I started marking, dropping waypoints on clumps of grass. Just dropping waypoints on clumps of grass, like right there. That's exactly where we actually caught them during the show up in Saskatoon Bay. And what I've seen really the last five years, it does not matter if you are in Alabama, it does not matter if you're in Georgia, Texas, where we were up on Lake Michigan, you can learn so much from Santa. Look, you can just get on Google Earth and do the same thing. I like the Fish Smart app for the simple fact I can carry it on my phone and it shows my little boat driving to those grass beds with perfect bird's eye view from above. Studying satellite imagery the last four to five years has changed how I get in my boat and fish, especially fish a new body of water. But with that being said, here's one of the really weird things. I have learned so much off of just studying satellite imagery of lakes that I have fished for 20 to 30 years, where I'm like, wow, I didn't know there was a lay down in that area of the lake. I didn't know there was a grass bed or a rock vein in this area of the lake. Um, if you, but if you go to a new body of water, if you go to a new body of water, you can learn so much just sitting, staring at your phone. Not that I'm they saying you smart. do that at work, or maybe you do, but really, do me a favor to enhance your fishing, to really maximize your time on the water so you're just not aimlessly searching. Truly study satellite imagery, especially if it's a lake you've never been to before. Trust me, getting a view from above, it will teach you so much and maximize your time on the water. I, are you watching all this crap? I've never done that. I found everything that we fished in this show on my cell phone. I'm not gonna yell at my kids again. I'm not gonna yell at them and get off the phone. Gosh, that is everything that's awesome in the world. I'm done. I am done. If, uh, if you like this, hit like, subscribe, notification bell. Ba -ba, ba -ba. More show dirts, they're coming your way, I promise. <laughs>